What is up guys? Kevo here. As you guys can see, I don't have my fellow companions around me. And we're also not gonna be making a sneaker review video. Today we are gonna do a tier list maker. We're gonna be ranking the Jordan Retros 1 through 35. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right guys, so like I said, today I'm going to be ranking Jordan Retros 1 through 35. As you guys can see already, I have the link open. And the way this is gonna go, I'm only gonna, this is only based solely on the style. So starting from the top, we have S being like superior from any other Jordan, other retro. And then A is like, it's, it's like up there, B being, it's like almost up there. And then C is being like a, like a casual, you know, and then D being like the, I guess the lowest tier, lowest tier of the, of them all. So let's get started. The first one we got here is the Jordan one. I think the way uh, the culture is right now, uh, there's a lot of hype around the Jordan one. And I personally think it's like, a, it's an okay shoe. Definitely uh, think the fours and threes are way better than the ones. So with that being said, I'll probably put the um, the Jordan one. I'll probably put it over here on A, cause it's still it's still like a nice shoe. It's like Jordan's first shoe, so I'll, I'll give it an A. All right, moving on to the second one now. We got the Jordan two. This shoe I have personally never had have had it in hand i think it's a nice shoe but i i don't think i'd wear it so i'd probably give it a c and moving on to the jordan 3 now this is also a very nice shoe as i was saying i i think these are way better than the ones and these deserve way more love so with that I think I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna put it. I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the A. I don't think it's superior. I will put it. I'll give it an A, but I'll put it in front of the. Um, I'll put it in front of the the ones. And now moving on to the fours, the fours. These I believe these are like probably the superior ones. I I really love the the colorways on the the Jordan fours. I'm, I'm gonna go with s on this one then we got the the jordan fives these are also a nice shoe in my opinion they're a little bit bulky um i still wear them they're definitely definitely nice style they got really nice uh nice colorways so i'll probably give this one like a b that's a fair grade for this uh this uh, style all right so now moving on to the jordan sixes oh man these are really nice shoe man the the quality on this on these shoes like on these colorways uh, the, they're just really nice so i mean i'm gonna give these a i'm, I'm, I'm gonna put them up here next to the next to the fives moving on to the sevens oh man oh man these, I don't know. I, I feel like they look too much like the, I feel like they look too much like the, the sixes. So I don't know. I, 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 I'm going to give them a B. I'm going to put them right there. Like they're, they're up there with the, like next to the sixes and the fives. All right. The eights. Now these, these are a little bit more unique, you know, very, very nice style in my opinion. I'll probably give these uh i'm gonna put them up there with the the a the a's right here and now the jordan nines um I, I, I think these are very very basic in my opinion i mean it's all right like overrated as fuck in my opinion i mean and you know what though that's typically how the bullshit goes. You feel me? Um, they're, they're just a, a 
really nice shoe, but I, I, I think they're pretty basic. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give these a C. Probably put them uh, in front of the twos. All right, so now the the and the pens have like they have they have a lot of like history, like literally a lot of like history, like a lot of milestones that like Michael Jordan like reached and stuff. And therefore, like I think, like that makes it like really unique. So I'll probably put these up here. On, I'm gonna give them an A. Yeah, I think that's appropriate for that shoe. I'm gonna give them an A. Just, just cause, like the history that that it like contains and stuff, or not the history, like literally like milestones that he reached and stuff. So, or I guess accolades, not milestones, but accolades that he uh, accomplished. Oh man, so next here, next one up is the Jordan 11. I personally have a lot of history with this shoe. This was my first, the or this uh, style was my first. I got the Legend Blue 11s and I pulled off the meanest fit in high school. All my friends were hyping me up. I felt like I was the man, you know, you feel me like. I was just walking through the hallways like yeah like you see it it's on my feet you know it and yeah i was just you know i was just breaking necks but she therefore you know 11s they superior they're going up there and yeah i'm gonna put them in front of these fours because sheesh i was rocking them legend blues man all right, now moving on to the Jordan 12s. Oh man, these shoes are very clean. The Flu Games, most iconic Jordan 12, maybe even the Taxis. Man, these these are very clean shoe. So I'm I'm gonna give these uh these Johns an A. I'm gonna give them an A. I think that's very appropriate for these shoes. Moving on to the Jordan 13s. Oh man, I think this is when they start going wild with the shoes. Jordan 13s, they're an okay shoe. I personally wouldn't rock them. Like I said, I, I don't really like them bulky shoes. Um, and I, they, they start getting like kind of bulky like right here. So the 13, I, I'm, I'm gonna give it a C. Like, I, I don't think it's like, um, it's not in the, the low tier, but I personally wouldn't wear them. Moving on to the 14. Oh man, the 14. It, it this one, this one's um, this one's very nice, just because like the shoe is supposed to resemble like, I, I think I want to say it's like the the Ferrari that uh that the Ferrari that Jordan had, and I I didn't they knocked it out of the park, man. The you could just it, it was like the jump man that it has like on the side like on the side of the collar right there like it looks like the ferrari logo like that it, and like the ferrari is like one of my favorite cars the 458 man wish i could have that car one day and yeah man so i think this is a this is a very nice shoe so i'm gonna give it a i'm gonna give it a b i'm gonna give it a b yeah and that's very appropriate <clears throat> and now getting into the 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 rest of these retros man i personally have never seen or not never but most of these i have i, I haven't seen in person or yeah so this is gonna be a little bit tough to rank them like uh please don't hate on my rating system but i i, I think i i haven't seen them like in hand personally so I just have to go based off, but um, I guess uh, I'm gonna just have to go based off images here. <clears throat> I'm gonna say that these are a C, just going off the image right here. Um, yeah, not much to say about them. I'm gonna just go with it to C. And then again, right here, this is the Jordan 16. Um, I see it has like a little, 
Okay, yeah, it's kind of like a like a velcro like a velcro strap. It was like one of the retros like where you could remove that flap, and I think it's these ones. Like you could remove the flap, and it reveals like the the whole thing, like the shoelaces. So I think that's pretty unique. So I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a C. Yeah. Now moving on to the Jordan 17. Oh man, this this one looks like the the eyelets. Like from this image right here, it kind of looks like a like a spider. Like it looks like a bunch of eyes are just uh, looking at you. Like that's very cool, man. And then also the colorway on this. Like I know I said I wasn't gonna go based off of colorway, but like like I said, like I just have to go off of images right here, and it makes it it makes it look like a like a spider. So it's very cool. I'm gonna give the 17. I'm I'm put over here on the C. Moving on to the Jordan 18. Again, with this one, we have like the flap right there. Um, I don't know about this one. I'm gonna have to give it a C again. Oh man, I look bad here not like knowing like these shoes, huh? And we're moving on to the 19 right here. These something with the straps like later on like after like what jordan the which one like the 14 after that like the there's been more like with like flaps and stuff like it takes a lot out of the like it takes a lot of, out of the shoe i think it's very nice though i'm gonna give it a c man i don't want to put all of these in a c right here but Ooh. now moving on to the Jordan 20 man this guy has a lot of Jordans um okay Jordan 20 uh see it has that 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 one strap here and then it has like this weird collar right here that goes like it's like a high top I want to say but it doesn't like connect like I think it's like for ankle support I want to say I think this ugly I want to say ugly shoe but not my not not my liking right here I'm gonna have to give this a D. Now getting into the Jordan 21. Yeah, this one, uh, this one kind of. I wonder. I'm pretty sure this is like trying to resemble another type of car. I don't know what kind of car, but it reminds me a lot to the uh, Jordan 14 right here that we got. Um, these Jordan 21s, they don't look that bad, but I'd probably rank them over here a B. I put them, uh, let's see, definitely over here, next to the 13s. Alright, now, uh, moving on to the Jordan 22s. Uh, looking at the image here, it kind of looks like you have like a, like a, like a little, a paper, like an image of him on the shoe on the side of the shoe right here he's like celebrating with his hands up or something i don't know what 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 kind of shoe this is or what kind of image but uh they're starting to get it a little bit better there, there's no more strap going on on the rest of these yeah like they kind of get rid of the strap um ah, these are okay these are okay. I'm gonna I'm give him a I'm gonna give him a C. I'm gonna give him a C right there. And moving on to the Jordan Retro 23. Uh, yeah, this is a this is a nice shoe. I probably put it around. I'll put it over here. Let's see, I don't know why, but they stopped doing the the Roman numerals, and they go on to the Jordan 2009. Which is this one right here um probably have, i mean i'm just have to give him a, a c i don't know i don't want to hurt nobody's feelings okay again we have the another one with no roman numeral it just has the jordan 2010 yeah the jordan 2010 like i don't know this one, I don't know, this kind of looks like a shack, like a shack shoe or something. I'm gonna have to give this one 
I'm gonna have to give this one a D. And again, we have another shoe, another retro without a, like a Roman numeral. Uh, the Jordan 2011. All right, this one, uh, going off the image, it looks pretty cool. Nothing too special on this one, you, too unique. So I'll probably give this one like a C. Oh, dang. Finally, this is the last shoe with, uh, without a uh, Roman numeral, I guess. The Jordan 2012. These actually, he, he, uh, they actually released a couple of uh, colorways on this. I honestly don't remember seeing them. They're all right. Um, I, I think this they ha it has like a camo type. This kind of, it looks like kind of like a combat boot. Not really, but like it gives me that vibe. So I'm gonna give this one a C. All right, and now we're back at naming the shoes by Roman numerals. Up next, we have the Jordan 28. This one, this one's actually nice. I believe you can take off the, like, you can make it like a high top. There's like a zipper on the side. And then it, I, I think it's just like rolls onto the, the rest of the shoe right here. Just put it down. And yeah, this one, this, this one's very unique. I'm gonna give it a, uh, I'm gonna give it a C. All right, so up next, we have the Jordan 29. So yeah, like this shoe that I honestly kind of like this shoe. This, this, this is a very nice, like, um, like definitely engineered for like basketball. Like all these are like made for basketball, but like this one, I think this one's very nice for basketball. Um, yeah, so with that said, I'll probably give these a B. I think that's appropriate for them right there. Now, moving on to the Jordan 30. This one, this one, I believe has the same material, that flagweed material. I think, uh, I think uh, the Jordan 29 got a lot of love and they started using it on more of their shoes right here. And yeah, I think this, this looks like a very nice shoe. Um, like I said, I probably have never, I've never had it in hand, but yeah, it's very nice. So I'll give this one a, a C. And then Jordan 31 now. The Jordan 31. Uh, it kind of looks like a, I think it's just like a high top version of that Jordan 29. Um, yeah, it kind of gives me that vibe, the, like the Jordan 29 vibe. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna give this a, I'm gonna give these a C. All right, now moving on to the Jordan 32. Um, I thought it was something interesting about these. The heel. Um, it kind of reminds me of the the Yeezys, the Nike Yeezys, like the heel on these ones. I don't know why it gives me that, like it, it, it has like those um little bumps like and it kind of remind me of that so i think it's pretty cool it also kind of looks like the jordan 29 but um yeah um i'm gonna give these a c oh my gosh the jordan 33 this one kind of looks like a running shoe not even gonna lie um yeah i don't know about i don't know about these uh i i probably wouldn't rock these yeah Oh, I'm gonna give these a D, 33. And then the Jordan 34. Uh, I don't know why it has like this, uh, this, uh, like space right here on the, the, the outsole. That, that, that's pretty cool. Uh, I think I, I think I've seen these. I've definitely seen these. Jordan 34s. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna give these a uh, a D. I really like these though. Like, even though they have like that that gap there too, the Jordan 35s. These these are pretty. These are nice. These are nice in the 34s. So I'm gonna give these a C. 
All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the ranking list of the Jordan Retro 1 through 35. Um, sorry, I didn't know most of these shoes. Um, what can I say? I guess I'm a noob. I'm new to the game, so spare me. The other members are also going to be doing a tier list, so stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, comment down below which is your favorite Jordan of all time. And please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys very much. Have a wonderful day. Peace.